Welcome to another episode of Liberty Basic Essentials. Today I'm going to show how to write some code that will read data in a CSV format. Uh, one of my um, users is a little puzzled about how to do this and so I'm, uh, hopefully this will be a, a quick little um, demo that explains how to write the code. So here I have a uh, small CSV format file that I crafted by hand. It's got six lines. It's a sort of like a membership file for some hypothetical club, programming club maybe. So each line has five items separated by comma. So this would be last name, first name, date of birth, phone number, member ID. And there's six of members here, six lines. So I've taken this file and I've saved it to this location here, C colon backslash CSV. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll start Liberty Basic up. And we'll click here to make a new file. And the first thing we want to do is open the file. So we start with the open statement. And we know where the file is, so we can just say CSV club dot dat, although perhaps naming it dot CSV would have made more sense. Um, let me say for input as, and we'll just give it the handle name club. Okay, that's the first thing, very simple. Uh, then we want a loop. We're going to loop through the lines of this file until we've read each of them. So I'll say we'll use a while loop. So while, and then we'll use the end of file function, so EOF, and the, the handle club equals zero. So while the end of file is zero or false, and then I'll just put this on there. We'll end, we'll put the the uh, the other bookend on the loop here. So now what we want to do is we want to read each line. So if I say if I use the input CSV statement, which is a special version of input for reading each comma delimited item of a file. So I say input CSV club, and then I can just put the names of the variables I want to use to read these in separated by commas. So it was last name, dollar sign, first name, dollar sign, date of birth, dollar sign, uh, phone number, and ID which is a number, so no dollar sign. So let's just test this out. We'll just print these out. We'll print each of these, and I can actually just copy these. Right, and then finally, when we're done, we'll close the file. All right. So let's just run this and hopefully there'll be no surprises. There you go. It's read all six lines and each item is printed with a comma separator. So it's tabbed them out. All right. So that the, the user in, was actually asking how to import, as he put it, a CSV file. And we haven't really done this here. so. What we'll do is we'll modify this code so that it actually reads these things into memory. Okay. So what we need is an array. So I'm going to dimension an array. And we'll call it club dollar sign. And I think what we'll do is we'll say, oh, you know, we don't know how big this file is. Let's just say that we need 10,000 
entries. And there's there are five items. So last name, first name, date of birth, phone number, ID. And so we'll start with zero. It'll be zero index, so zero to four is five items. Now let me change this to a string variable since we're using a string array to hold this information. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll simply insert these values into the array as we go. So we need to have, um, we're going to need to have an index variable. As we read, we'll increment it by one, but first we'll, um, we'll read the, we will insert these values into the first position, which would be position zero. So club index, which is zero to begin with, comma zero. Club index comma zero equals last name dollar sign. Okay, I'm just going to do this for each. First name. Date of birth. Distracted there. Okay. And then we'll add one to the index. Okay. So I'll get rid of that. So I'll run this and it shouldn't blow up. It will read the information into memory, but we won't actually see it do anything, but let's just run it. Okay. Just for kicks here, just, just so that it tells us something useful, hopefully. And I'll put an end statement on there. Let's run that again. And you'll see that it actually does run all the way to the end. All right, so now that all this stuff is in memory, let's just say that I want to know, I just want to print the phone numbers for each of the uh, club members. So let me see. First, I think what I'll do just to formalize things here is to say, okay, you know what? I read, um, I read X number of these records in and I want to a variable that tells me what the last one was. So I always know what my limit is. So let's just say um, okay, that the maximum ID number equals index minus one because the when I get to the end, index gets added one again. So it actually tells us we have one more than we actually do. So max ID number equals index minus one. All right, so let's say that I, I just want to, you know, print out the phone numbers just as a, just to prove that this information is in memory. So I'm gonna make a little loop for next loop for X equals zero to max ID number. And then I print club and the phone the phone number is position three. All right, let's try that. 
there we have all the phone numbers. And of course I can change that to whatever I like. I could change that to to be the the IDs or the date of birth in this case. All right. So now um, let's say that, let's just talk about a, a little uh, trick that you can do to make it easier to deal with things that are in arrays because right here all we're doing is using numbers and numbers are not the greatest way to be indexing into an array to figure out you know where your values are so right up the top here let's just create some uh, some uh, enumerated names so let's just say that last name equals zero first name equals one date of birth equals two phone oop, equals three and ID equals four now we can just literally everywhere that we want to reference a particular item by name we can just use one of these uh, named enumerated values so we say last name first name date of birth Okay, and then down here, instead of saying date of birth, I mean two, <laughs> instead of saying two, we say date of birth. Now we know exactly what it is that we're retrieving without having to remember what the numbers are. Okay, well, I hope this was helpful. Until next time, have fun.